Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Osborne. I'm a senior fellow here at Massachusetts General Hospital, and I have the privilege of uh, interviewing today's grand round speaker um, that's being presented on behalf of the Department of Nuclear Cardiology uh, by uh, Dr. David Sosnovic. Um, so, uh, Dr. Sosnovic is the acting director of the uh, MGH Cardiovascular Research Center, and he's also the director of the program in cardiovascular imaging at uh, the MGH Mar Martino Center for Biomedical, Engineer uh, Biomedical Imaging. Thank you very much, David, for it's joining us today. Um, very much looking forward to your talk uh, on new applications of advanced cardiovascular imaging. Um, so, uh, could you give us a brief overview of what you'll be speaking about this afternoon? Sure. <coughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to speak with you. So, um, <coughs> you know, I think I'll address that at two levels. I think the first level is conceptually what I'll, I think, be hoping to convey, convey to, the, uh, to the audience is that we're on the cusp of a new era in cardiovascular imaging. Uh, where, which sort of I think will be driven by multimodality imaging and problem-based imaging. Right now, the way we do imaging, um, and I'm on clinical service right now, I'm doing this myself, is we order multiple tests in series. Uh, test number one, maybe the transthoracic echo, mm -hmm. then perhaps a CTA, then an MRI, then perhaps a PET. Uh, there's very little crosstalk, you know, very, very, little, very little interaction but between uh, the different imaging modalities and between those two tests. You might say they, they occur in almost in, in, in sort of close, near to isolation. That, I think, is going to change. Um, uh, we're ent entering an era where we now have um, multimodality opportunities, mm -hmm. particularly uh, the one I've been most interested in is PET-MR, where uh, the PET acquisition and the MR acquisition occur simultaneously in a single scan and a single instrument. So conceptually, um, I think that you know, has the potential to really shift and change uh, how we address uh, problems uh, in, in, in clinical practice as well as in research. And, uh, and then I sort of, on the more um, tangible level, I'll give some examples and show some of our initial work in that area, in that area with several of the clinical trials we have ongoing right now. Great, great, great. That uh, sounds amazing. Um, so what, in your experience and in your, in your you know, foresight, what, what advantages do you think that advanced uh, multimodality imaging, mm -hmm. such as, as you mentioned, PET-MR, may offer uh, specific clinical, uh, clinical situations, or how could we use these tools to help us identify new therapies for our patients? Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> you know, I think, um, you know, PET-MR is, is a new technology. Um, we're still exploring what the, the op optimal applications will be. Uh, and I think right now most of the activity is in the research space. Um, and with time, I think that will uh, obviously um, migrate, hopefully, to the clinical space. Um, there are um, many advantages of, uh, of molecular imaging with PET, and that's principally the, uh, the, the research focus of, of our endeavors. And when combined with the uh, wealth of physiological and atomical functional information that MRI can provide, I think we're going to get uh, phenomenal new insights into the common conditions that we see on the floors all the time, uh, HPEF, atrial fibrillation, LV remodeling. Um, I think um, uh, for many years in the, in the imaging community, as well as the basic science community, uh, there's been an interest to sort of phenotype th the myocardium better than we can uh, to perform a sort of very accurate tissue characterization. Um, and I think uh, we're at the point where we can do that. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, so, uh, you know, thank you very much for your time today. I think we're all very excited to, uh, to hear uh, your talk this afternoon and uh, learn more from you about, uh, about these opportunities. Okay. It's my pleasure. Thank you.